Hey guys, and welcome to another Point Blank tutorial. Today we've got instructor Ben Medcalf showing us how to use Chromaverb in Logic Pro X 10.4. Enjoy! Chromaverb is a high quality reverb that is new to Logic as of the 10.4 update. More simple in terms of both interface and functionality than the Space Designer, the Chromaverb provides a solid alternative to many more expensive third party reverbs as an ideal device for a simple reverb send. The control interface of Chromaverb is split into two sections Main and Details. First, we're going to have a look at Main. As with most other reverb units, your models are mostly the traditional ones, such as halls, rooms, spaces and so on, and some slightly more left field ones, such as weird space, wobbling and so on. The main window of the main control is a damping EQ. Changing the points will result in a dramatically enhanced or reduced frequency response for the reverb at the point of engagement. Also, the colours, while not strictly necessary, are a nice touch. The front panel controls are largely the standard ones you'll find on most reverbs, such as attack, size, decay, and a nice touch in the distance control which controls how the reverb affects the perceived proximity of the sound you're applying it to. Higher values meaning the sound is further away and lower values meaning it's closer. Another interesting function is the freeze button. Which can be used to create a unique pad-like effect from a sound by taking a snapshot of the reverb at whichever point you hit the button. The details pane contains a six-band output EQ, which allows us to further shape the tone of the reverb. We also have some fairly advanced modulation controls that work just like an LFO. give the reverb an unnatural otherworldly kind of effect should you want that and also further manipulation of the stereo image of the reverb is possible using the width control here so we can widen the stereo image of the reverb or make it narrower and finally we have the mono maker control which will render into mono all the frequencies below the selected one. So here, all of my frequencies in the reverb under 420 hertz are gonna be in mono, which is very useful device to have handy when you are performing mix downs and so on, because lower frequencies don't work as well in stereo. That's it, I hope you guys learnt something today. If you guys wanna learn more about music production or just wanna check out some free online courses, samples, or other goodies, check out pointblankmusicschool.com.